my entire childhood, my mom and brother abused me my whole life. They would beat me and tell me I was worthless. And they would tell me to kill myself. They would tell me it was all my fault. Um, and I tried several times and then I would even beg God to just kill me because I hated living like, if I'm gonna be beat, I'd rather just be dead. It never like, it never panned out, like nothing ever um, happened. And then I got older and I met my husband and things were a lot better. And there was always still that thing in the back of my head that you know, like when you're told you're worthless for 15 years, it's really hard to stop believing that you're worthless. And so even though I have this wonderful husband and wonderful daughter and wonderful life, um, I still felt like I didn't deserve it, like that it wasn't good, like I wasn't good enough to be a part of what they were. And then my, both of my parents passed away and his mother passed away and I went through a really like bad depression in my life. And then I came to church and I came to know God and I thought, okay, I can just tuck that part of me away and hide it and pretend like that's, you know, like Christians don't act like that. Christians don't have um, depression and suicidal thoughts. And then the devil, I pretty much just gave him a stronghold when I tucked it away from God. And it just like smacked me in the face one night. And I went to Pastor Donna and we prayed about it. And I just kept telling her like, I very vividly could see myself just dead. Like my family better off without me. And I knew that that's, you know, that God has something so much bigger for me, but it's so hard to break out of that in your mind. And so I prayed with her and I felt better, but I didn't feel free. And I went to, the next morning I got up and I was almost talking myself out of going to Monday night prayer. And my daughter just kept saying, no, we need to go, let's go. And so I went, but I felt so embarrassed and ashamed because I told somebody that, you know, I had suicidal thoughts and I was depressed and I felt so stupid because I'm a Christian and I shouldn't feel that way. And I felt like God was calling me to just get up and say it. Like, if I wanted to be free from it, then I needed to tell everyone. Like, instead of hiding it back like I'd done for years, I needed to tell everybody. So I got up and I, I confessed everything and I've never felt more free in my life. The second that I stood up from my chair and I started walking towards the altar to confess, I, I could feel the chains breaking. And the verse, who the Son is set free is free indeed, is like my life calling because I am free. Like I am truly free indeed. And it's awesome.